The dead air in the halls of Colossus is dry and stinks of decay. In the quietude of the chamber, you can hear the scuffling of many feet. Red eyes stare at you out of the gloom. Oh, let's use that light. Make things a bit less gloomy. And, ah, this looks like actual halls of actual colossus. Yeah, this is more what I was expecting when I heard halls of colossus. High ceiling. It's, it, it's uh, yeah, colossal hall. All the columns and everything. I don't know why I expected the columns. I suppose you can have a hall without them, but I don't know. It just seems like this is the kind of vibe I was expecting. I was expecting it to be overrun with rats, though. Now, this lock seems to be made of iron. Now, I'm guessing that through there I'll find a bunch of other locks. One for each of the keys. And since I don't have all of the keys, obviously... I'm guessing I'm going to have to go through each different section of... Yes, that leads back up. And I guess I'll have to go through one at a time. Oh! Zombies! And I can't help but notice... Yet another different architectural style. Oh, but here, an amethyst key. That's rather fancy. I think I'm seeing a pattern here. First there was the... Uh... Maybe there's something down here. But yes, first was the area with the... Um... Dark stone walls and the lizard men. Then the caves full of orcs. Now these brick corridors full of zombies. And each one had, or at least so far that I am aware of, a single key. Seriously? Eh. Drink a potion of cure disease. Um, after fighting a few more zombies, just so I don't waste any. That looks like an opportunity to try out my ebony short bow. I don't know why I'm bothering to dodge their spells. Those ghosts don't even cause any real damage anyway. They just... Oop. Kind of slippery flagstones there. Yeah, the ghosts, they just uh, damage spell points, I believe. Which isn't a concern for me, because I am not a mage. Alright, tower shield, katana. 
Excellent. Nice little fountain here. With the dragon. And... Oh! There is an inscription engraved here on the moss-caked stone. Theodorus. That is not a Khajiiti name. Sounds more Cyrodiilic. Can't help but wonder. All these different architectural styles. It's almost as if this place was... Has just been like repeatedly dug up and buried again over the centuries. You know, maybe a Khajiiti temple at the deepest levels, but other stuff built on top of it, then buried and forgotten? Maybe? Could be, I suppose. I'm not really an archaeologist, so I'm just guessing here. Still, it's clear that not all of these halls were built by the same hands. Ah, well, I, I get that you were trying to ambush me, but thank you for revealing that secret door. That's very convenient. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure that I'd have found that otherwise. that kind of metal door there that's, you know, different. Oh, another stairway down. And a dead person who I guess got got by all these lizard men. What's the deal with the lizard men anyway? Like they're... They're not Argonians. Because uh, the Argonians, they're, they're not lizard men, strictly speaking. They're just men who are lizards? I, I honestly don't get it, but oh well. Is that plate pauldron any good? No, it is not. Oh well. Ah. Let's resist fire, please. And also heal. I was not expecting to see hellhounds down here. Nothing much. Well, depending on where that torque is. And... A ruby key. Been a while since I saw one of those. Escaping the Imperial sewers. That was a ruby key that, uh, that Rhea left for me to unlock the cell door because she is the bestest ever. Anyway down into this stupid rat place there's so many rats why why are there ah enough rats
of this place here is distinctly a dungeon. Uh, the uh, metal bars, the dank stonework, the shackles, the blood stains. Probably the most inviting place. You know, yeah, whatever this room is, seems to have almost completely fallen apart. Either this is one of the older parts of the room, or just not as well constructed. I only need to find one more. 